Lecky. Not so long ago, this far-flung suburb of Lagos was also one of its less-eyed parts. Then, as so often happens, the wind of change blew in. Today, the name alone evokes images of estates and residences of upwardly mobile persons and companies and organizations looking to expand their reach. Its stretch of highway is lined by looming edifices that provide added evidence, and it's not like any was needed, of a co's undisputed position as the beating heart of Nigerian commerce. Removed from the frenetic pace of all this business, one can find human industry of a somewhat different slant. Hello there, my name is Onyeka Onwenu, and I'm known to wear several hats. Actress, broadcaster, administrator, singer-songwriter. Well, I guess you're wondering which hat I'm wearing right here and now. Well, I am proud to announce that I'm following in the rich tradition of men and women, or rather, boys and girls who have searched for and found great treasure. Welcome to Caleb British International School. Well, what are you waiting for? Now, I see you're new to all this. Okay, I think it may just be a good time for a little history lesson, don't you? And so in 2004, began the process of the introduction of the Cambridge All Level Program and the International General Certificate of Education IGCSE through Caleb British Academy, which would later metamorphize into Caleb 
British International School. The Caleb's group admission as a full member into the International Schools Association that same year only served to affirm its status as an international organization. And so the years went by and the good became better and the big became bigger and history continues to be made even as locations go from the temporary to the more permanent like Abijo where Caleb British International College seems now to be in full swing. Then step here from that place to be a parent from that place. Oh, that's a 
So what's your favorite subject? Literature. Oh, good. Mine too. How about you? Math. Math? Oh, well, I'm afraid of you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Um, Yoba. You're right. That's a very good thing. You know, because most people don't, these days can't even speak or write their language. Oh, that's nice to see. So much to teach, so much to learn. But of course there is a time and a place to put all the hypotheses and theories you've learned in class to the test. a man or a woman? It's a man. Oh, Chima Chibi. Wow. Okay. That is pretty good. You've got the eyes, you've got the nose, you've got the chin. Well done. Okay. Sunset. It's not easy to draw. doing? I'm making a word presenter tournament. Okay. So I'm making um, headers and tutors. <laughs> so they teach you all this in class. Wow. You have a head start. We didn't have computers. Hi. Did you type all that? No, my just is so far important. Okay. I know I'm setting the top and bottom margin to the same centimeter then so nothing will overlap. Okay. Interesting. How long have you been learning this? How many years now? Four, three years now. So you're pretty good at it. Lucky you. My generation were a bit slow with these things so 
we get our kids to do it for us. here already. Um, we have our, um, our butter, our sugar and eggs. Have you put the flour yet? No, no, no. Okay, you're going to put that. That's the flour yes. and that's our chocolate. You're going to mix in it. Okay, let me come around here and see how. You're going to, you have to weigh everything, yeah? Yes. We don't know how to weigh, we just throw it in. Okay, what's, what's this? That's um, vanilla? Uh, oh, color, okay. Color. It's perfectly safe. Yeah. And that's the chocolate? Yeah. Cocoa powder. Cocoa powder. Yeah. All right, that's the baking powder. What's this one? Bicarbonate of soda. Which one makes it rise? Is the baking powder. Okay. Are you going to, you don't put yeast in cake now. No. See me, I should know. There is certainly a rich variety of learning and discovery available in these facilities. first day of summer school there, I made a lot of friends, it was really easy. The teachers, you could really relate to the teachers, they teach well and you could really understand it and if, it, if you didn't, you could meet them later on to understand and to get a better view of everything. They offer both social excursions and then educational excursions. I remember that one time we went on a geography excursion to um, Ibadan. We got to learn a lot, we saw the practical side of what we have been learning in geography. And then there are also fun field excursions, like at the end of the term, we get to go to amusement parks, and then just to celebrate the end of the term. This shows the diversity of Caleb. Every staff in this school, they take time out to understand the students, for example, their strengths and their weaknesses. And they use this information to bring out the best in each student. CBS is different from other schools because, firstly, the academics. I could acquire a certificate that qualifies me to study almost anywhere in the world. As I am now, I could choose to study in Nigeria, the US, the UK, Canada. And it's amazing that we get these opportunities and these choices for where we could go to finish our school. And then again, like we have career talks and career fairs and different people come to talk to us about our futures. And it's amazing that they set this foundation for us before like, we leave. So after, it's easier for us to know what we want to do and where we want to go. And yet, much of it is exercise for the mind and intellect. And what's that we say about all work and no play? Kelly British International School 
is an educational institution that is not only keen on developing young minds, but also in building fit and healthy bodies for those minds. Thanks to a vibrant and energetic sports curriculum that incorporates basketball, Volleyball. Swimming and of course, football amongst others. Children here are taught to score. Bravo! You are not the only one. I also am impressed by the high quality facilities on ground and the children who use them. Now, I may not be the greatest sports talent scout in the world, but I know something about a stark quality. And I must tell you, I have noticed more than a few of these youngsters with the potential to become bona fide stars of tomorrow. It is all so serene and lovely, don't you agree? Anyone would be glad to be in a place like this, never mind the students. Kiran Fittish International School was definitely the right choice for me and I thank God for leading me there. The teachers were amazing, trying through every means they could to ensure our success and I really appreciate them for that. But the educational aspects wasn't the only good thing about Kenya British International School. They were also a highly religious school that encouraged we, the students, to build our faith and religion. And I thank them so much for that. Thank you, Caleb British International School, for having a great impact in my life. Caleb British International School delivers. They deliver in terms of courtesy, they deliver in terms of academic excellence, they deliver in terms of moral values, they deliver in terms of the right environment and ambience to bring up your children in. And the kind of British education that Caleb British International gives is at par with any that you would find even outside the shores of this country because the children have gone ahead to take international exams and excel. If you're out there and you're thinking, oh, I want my child to have a British education, I want it one that is mixed with the Nigerian curriculum, and you're looking at where do I send my child to, I can tell you that the search is over. Caleb British International Schools is definitely the right place to groom your children, to make them better than they can ever be and bring out the best of their potentials. It is the place to be. Well, what do we have here? It seems word of mouth travels fast.
not a betting person, but from the look of these faces, I'm quite certain they'll soon return to seal the deal. And why not? This, after all, is Caleb British International School, a place of treasures.